Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Talks with Tina, where we are pursuing our most true and authentic self by what? <laughs> you know, when you get first get your little head straight. <laughs> Uncovering our roots. Y'all, that's ignorant. Um, <laughs> in the spirit of getting straight to the point, today's topic is the metamorphosis of me. And when I was originally planning this video out, it was going to be titled um, Sink into Self-Love. But I really feel like in order to tap into either one of those topics, you got to understand changes, right? So, y'all know I hit y'all with the definition. Then we're going into a transparent moment. Oh, my gosh. But metamorphosis says, that, well, the definition is the process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more distinct stages. Or the second definition is a change of the form or nature of a thing or person into a completely different one by natural or supernatural means. So how I came about this topic is, um, hold, hold your mule now, hold your mule. We know how to do this. Um, is when I was, well, I was thinking about this topic really deeply because I journaled it and sinking into self-love was, it just came about because I feel like during some of my stages, I had to lean deep into that self-love aspect of who I am and like, you know, how far I've come in my journey that I have to love myself through every stage. And, and it's hard sometimes, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, like sometimes it's really hard to appreciate your own self through every stage of what you're going through and especially when you're in a transformative period of your life where you are trying to change and transform into a new being it is not always the easiest and i'm speaking for myself it is not always the easiest to sit here y'all gonna have to excuse that my computer is on and uh i didn't silence it and i ain't turned my computer on in a hot minute but hold on hold on hold your mule hold your mule shut up <laughs> thing anywho um hold on i'm about to learn how to do this right now there we go um sorry guys for the brief interruption but i've learned to begin to love myself deeply and intently during each one of those stages and what that took was for me to embrace the good the bad and the ugly that came with each day each stage so as I was going through the like how metamorphosis of me came about was that I literally I took a picture today and I'm starting to notice physical changes with myself like I'm losing weight and to go and I've, I've been skinny skinny before I've been smaller before and so when it was in a when I was in a phase of like not truly loving and honoring myself it was easy for me to embrace the different side of me which was bigger it was hard to love that part too but then I became comfortable. So now that I'm moving into a new phase of my life, there are now physical changes that are being brought about and I'm back in an uncomfortable state. And so that's where literally the metamorphosis of me came about because how can I love myself in every stage of my journey as I go about all of these new changes? And when I say sink into self-love or the metamorphosis of me and loving me in every aspect of every stage is what do you turn to when you do, when you're presented with the more difficult moments in your journey. And so for me, sometimes it's easier for me to go into those self-deprecating thoughts of, oh my gosh, like you don't, you can't lose too much weight. You'll be skinny. Like this is, these are my thoughts now. This is my transparent moment. Welcome to my life. But my thoughts now are, oh my gosh, you can't get too skinny. People gonna think you on that stuff. <laughs> People gonna think you on that stuff. Or not even that. It's just literally embracing every change. Or sometimes I don't see that I'm getting smaller. And it's like I look in the mirror and I'm just like, oh, you need to change this. You need to change this. You need to change this. And I'm brought back to those times where I did not love myself and I did not value myself the way that I was feeling internally. Like, I know I loved myself. I know, you know, I knew these things about me, but what I was projecting was all the ill feelings that I was holding up here. Right here, it was like, girl, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, you're still the baddest. Ah. But what I was feeling here was, you can't do that. No, you're too big. Ah. So this is more just like a, a reflection of, like how I'm feeling about my physical you know we go into this healing journey it's about the heart but that's another thing too how you see yourself and how you speak to yourself is a direct reflection of how you feel about yourself and when you're going through these different stages as I stated earlier it is difficult and I, I don't care what anybody else says it will not always be rainbows and butterflies 
throughout the journey like oh yes today i'm waking up and i am embracing setting boundaries boundaries are hard to set and especially when you're not used to having boundaries to sit there and tell somebody this is a level that we cannot you know connect on anymore it is hard but it is also a point that i'm willing to embrace along the journey sitting here and disconnecting with people i don't know y'all are really getting into my tea today because it's just what i'm going through and i feel like it's just you know becoming my most true and authentic self being transparent through all of these stages and not just oh this is you know i've been through this i journaled this here it is like this is what i'm feeling in this moment and it's it's not the easiest <laughs> it's not the easiest and i would be sitting here lying to y'all and just saying oh yay guys you know this week i'm embracing every form of my journey because like sometimes this weekend i did a, a little hiatus and i was really confronted with my own self <laughs> and i had to dig deep again and i had to sit with my emotions and i guess the good part of this healing journey is that now i'm able to identify what some of those emotions are and where they're rooted from and continuously doing the work of uncovering my roots because not all of my roots are uncovered and sometimes i thought the roots that were uncovered was just covered on the surface and then i ain't dig deep enough and so here i am i was sitting there like why am i having such like self-doubt why am i feeling so defeated in the area where I thought I conquered, you feel me? Like I thought I truly conquered this area of confidence. And then when something awakened or tapped onto that area where confidence was shaken up, I immediately went into like a turtle. Like I'm going back in my shell because now my confidence is beat on. Now my, you know, my self-esteem is, is going to be dwindled down because I no longer feel confident in the area that I was just literally so confident in. And, you know, I don't know. So how do we make it make sense? How do we make it make, oh. <laughs> how do we make it make sense? How do we apply it to your life is the metamorphosis of you, me, all of the above. I think it is important to embrace every stage of your change. And no matter how hard it gets, it's to identify and begin to evaluate whatever the case may be. But embrace your change. It will be weird. It's different. It's uncomfortable. But when you start to embrace every area and every stage of your change, of yourself, your transformation, you'll begin to see how beautiful it is. When matter, like butterflies, or larvae, or caterpillars, or whatever transform to something beautiful you know at the end it's going to be beautiful but sometimes it got to be ugly you know and quite frankly i think that's the chat embrace the stages it's going to be hard it's not always going to be as pretty as you think it may be but if you are honest with yourself to say hey this stage right here is a little tough to deal with and accept but i'm willing to do the hard work to accept this instead of sinking back into comfortability Baby, it's going to be beautiful. With the change that continues to come about in each stage is so worth it. But it's worth it to know you in each stage as well. <laughs> and that's good chat.